Hi. End of tonight's tour. Five point. Here's the definition of conditional probability. The notation, the probability of F given E. And that's the way you read this. F given E. And it's read the probability of event F given event E. It is the probability that the event F occurs given that the event E has already occurred. If E and F are any two events, then the probability of F given E is the probability of E and F divided by the probability of E. And if we're just counting the number of ways things happen, it would be the number in the intersection divided by the total number that are in E because E is the given one. The probability of event F occurring, given the occurrence of event E, is found by dividing the probability of E and F by the probability of E, or dividing the number of outcomes in E and F by the number of outcomes in E. I probably just already said that. And that leads us to the general multiplication rule. You remember that when events were independent, uh, we just multiplied the probability. But now what we can do is we can go back and solve the previous equation. You remember the previous equation said the probability of f given e is equal to the probability of this divided by this. So if I multiply both sides by the probability of e, that non-zero probability, then I know that the general way to compute a probability of e and f is the probability of e times the probability of f given e. And these words just say what I say. If small random samples are taken from a large population without replacement, it is reasonable to assume the independence of the events. And the rule of thumb is if the sample size is less than 5% of the population, you should be good making that assumption. If you coordinate the two definitions that we've had, you uh, reach this. The probability two events, events E and F, are independent if the probability of E given F is equal to the probability of E, or equivalently if the probability of F given E is the probability of F. Whether E happens or doesn't happen has nothing to do with the probability. They're independent. Okay, so here's the problem. Uh, you should read it. You know what to do and when to do it. Let's see how you do it. Okay, well, they're asking you to calculate the probability of rainy given that it is cloudy. So that's the probability of being rainy and cloudy divided by the probability of cloudy. These are the numbers that you have. You do the calculation and you get this. Here's another problem. This is a contingency table. And so it gives you the number of people that responded to surveys from various age groups and if they're more or less likely or don't really care about buying something made in America. There's a bunch of questions you're supposed to answer. You know what to do and when to do it. Let's see how you did. The probability uh, that someone is age in this age bracket, given that they voted more likely, is the probability they're in that age bracket n more likely divided by the number n more likely. You do the arithmetic and you get this. For number b, the probability more likely given you're in that age group and you see uh, it's going to be the intersection divided by the number here. Now, notice that this, so the probability of e given f is not the same thing as the probability of f given e. They're different things because you can see the numbers are different. Uh, the probability more likely given that you're in the uh, youngest age group is less than half. The probability that you're more likely in general is you look at the grand totals. So you're going to look at 1329 divided by 2160. So you see the young people are less likely to care about it being made in America than older folk. Here's another problem. 
uh, please read it. You know what to do and when to do it. Let's see how you did. This is about uh, playing cards, and actually there are two problems here, so we'll talk about both of them. Actually, one of them was a card problem, and the other one, well, I guess both, they both were card problems. Hmm. No, there were three problems. I'm sorry. 22, 23, and 24. I am sorry. So in 22, the problem of the most women is we use the uh, general definition, and we get this number. In part B, the probability of both kings is this. And you see the probability changes after you draw something out because you didn't replace the first king. In part uh, B, uh, it is, oh, the width replacement. And so you see you multiply the same number together and it is a slightly different number slightly bigger number because you replaced it and 24 the probability they're both clubs is conditional probability if you get this and the probability they're both clubs if you do replacement is a slightly bigger number now more than ever time is precious each day must count do the math it will make you strong and now more than ever take care of yourself and of each other